Hey, you guys, I wanted to talk to you about trauma. Collectively, as a country, as a world, we are all experiencing trauma. And in fact, for the last year or so, we've been dealing with trauma on a very real level. And I don't care what anyone tells you, secondary trauma is real. I want to use this as an example because a lot of us come into this world already filled up. And in fact, I'll use myself as an example. And many of you guys, this is going to resonate with you. So I came into this world just being born in this beautiful black skin. And that filled some of my trauma up, right? Being born a woman and always having to look over my shoulder and having this sense of fear whenever I walk into certain rooms, that fills me up. Because my parents were young teen parents, that added to it. So I was already walking around with stuff that didn't belong to me, but that was given to me. And then what happens is there's layers that happen. So then we experience other stuff like molestations, right? And then we go into school and we have a crappy teacher that treats us bad. And then that fills us up a little bit more. And then we end up falling in love. And that person that we fall in love with, they abuse our love. And then that fills us up. And then we get these jobs where we have to deal with systematic racism and then that fills us up and then we end up the person that we thought was going to be our forever person to death do us part something happens and then we end up getting a divorce and that fills us up and it can go on and on and on and on and so we're walking around on full all the time all the time at any moment if i add anything else to this we will overflow and you know what that overflow looks like that overflow looks like us having what is called a mental health breakdown right that overflow looks like us sleeping too long or not sleeping enough that overflow looks like us overeating or not eating at all that overflow looks like us popping off and telling somebody what we really think so what I want to encourage you, and I know that it's tough. I know that we've tried to find people to feel, to, to pour a little bit out so we weren't carrying this heavy weight. And we, when you try to have people that you poured some out, guess what? The weight of you was too heavy and that it spilled all over the place. So I want you to find somebody that is a, a empty container that is that you're able to pour a little bit out on and you're able to release on them. And, and not in a way that you're just dumping on them but where it's reciprocal where you pour a little and they pour a little and then you pour a little and they pour a little this is the purpose of coaches this is the purpose of mental health professionals I know that it's tough, you guys. I'm here to validate your feelings, but I'm also here to tell you that you don't have to walk around with the weight of this world. Find somebody, find you a coach. I have just opened up my calendar for my Restored program, and I would love to be your container. I promise you I can handle it. I promise you that I have the ability to hold you and to hold space for you. Go on over to www.tuesdaywithtamika.com book your clarity session and begin to pour out.